Very exciting news. And uh, Professor Chris Lintart is with us now to discuss what that news is. Yes, this, this is more exciting than 90 Planets. We have been absolutely bursting to tell people about this as we've run all our checks. So remind people what we did. We used the Kepler Space Telescope. Kepler stares at stars. This is one star. This is the raw data I thought we'd show you. So each flick here is a Kepler image of the star. So it's measuring the brightness of this star over three months. We turned that into graphs. And it, well, this is the star that we're this interested is in as well. Star. This is the special star. It's got some long number, but, um, <laughs> but that's fine. That's Turn it. that into graphs, which we put up on uh, exoplanetexplorers.org. And this is one of them which was spotted by some of our citizen scientists. What you can see, this is a measure of brightness, and there's this dip here. So and that dip is a planet getting in front of the star. Yeah. And so this dip told us there's a planet there that's got about maybe twice the size of the Earth. And then we saw this, same star, different dip, different planet. This is about twice the size of the Earth as well. And then we spotted another one. This is 2.7 times the size of the Earth. And then we spotted a fourth one, which is another two Earth yeah. radii one. So this is a system with four planets and these that has been discovered. By, these were spotted by different, different, uh, people. different viewers. That's right. And we've website. seen all the transits repeat. So we can see not just the planet once, but we see it go round and round and round. And we're sure that these are real. So when you put 